Hi there. Welcome back to the English class. How many of us want success? All of us? We all want the trophy, don't we? But how many of us genuinely put in efforts to fetch the trophy for ourselves? And those of you who've done it, who've tried to achieve something, will agree with me when I say every success story is also a story of great failures. Yes or no? Do you always succeed at the first go? No. Sometimes you fail, but then you should keep on trying. Today's chapter is about such amazing personalities who have failed so often, you'd be surprised that they didn't give up. They did not give up and they've achieved great success in the end. So let's have a look at them. This man in the picture, should I tell you something about him? Let's read it out. This man failed in business at the age of 21. He was defeated in a legislative race, that is in politics, at the age of 22. He failed again in business at the age of 24. He overcame the death of his sweetheart, his loved one, at the age of 26, which led to a nervous breakdown at the age of 27. It happens when you lose a loved one, doesn't it? But then he bucked up and then he again tried in politics but again lost at the age of 34. Again he lost a senatorial race at the age of 45, losing too much. But is he giving up? Not yet. Let's see. He failed in an effort to become vice president at the age of 47, failed again. Lost a senatorial race at the age of 49. Are you already tired of his failures? He is not. And was elected. Finally, he's tasting success here. He was elected president of the United States at what age? At the age of 52. But you know what was his motto to achieve the success? Failure is just a detour, not a dead end. What's a detour? A detour is an unexpected route on your path to your destination. So sometimes failures come unexpected, but that is not a dead end, just an unexpected route which will again bring you back to the real route to success. This great man, he was Abraham Lincoln. When people refuse to believe you, it's so difficult to achieve success when people don't have belief. They don't find meaning in what you're doing. Meet Mr. Lee DeForest. He invented the triotubes. What are triotubes? They are electronic amplifying tubes. And they are used, they were used to launch the electronic era in our world. Today, our world is dominated by electronics, isn't it? Imagine if he did not invent this, where would we be today? But when he had invented this, people failed to believe in him. Let's see what happened to him. He was charged by the district attorney for using fraudulent means of misleading the public into buying stocks of his company, claiming that he could transmit the human voice across Atlantic. They said that he was a fraudster. He was publicly humiliated. But did he give up? No. When people question you, when you say something and people say, what? No, that doesn't make sense. Will you give up? The Wright brothers did not give up. In 1903, the Wright brothers were trying to invent a machine that we call today the aeroplane. People laughed at them that you are trying to create an object that is heavier than air and yet you claim that it's going to fly in air. They questioned them, but did they give up? No. One week later at Kitty Hawk, the Wright brothers took their famous flight and that's why we have aeroplanes today. already recognized your favorite KFC, didn't you? But let's learn the story behind KFC. 
Mr. Colonel Sanders. At the age of 65, he just had a hundred dollar check in his pocket and a broke car and a recipe from his mother. What did he do with that recipe? He thought, so what if I'm 65? I want to start doing something. And so he took his mother's recipe and began making good, tasty, eatable stuff. And he went door to door to door to door asking people to taste what he's made and asking them to give him orders. Many of them liked it, many of them did not like it, but nobody was coming forward to give him a bulk order. Did he give up? See here, it is estimated that he had knocked on more than a thousand doors before he got his first order. I mean, how many of us try three times, five times, ten times and we say, oh my God, I've tried enough, I give up. Imagine knocking on thousand doors before getting your first order. And where is KFC today? The world's most sought after fast food chain, yes? So kudos to him. When people don't like your work, you will face people who say, no, what you've done is not good enough. What you've done, I don't like it. Who is this personality? The famous Walt Disney. Your entire childhood must have spent watching Disney cartoons. Yes or no? So whom do we give credit? Mr. Walt Disney, he lived in a shed near a church and that shed was infested with mice. That's where he got his inspiration. He looked at a mouse and started drawing cartoons. And then a minister from a nearby church asked him to come up and draw on his walls. But before that, every newspaper told him, no, you don't have talent, we don't like your drawings. But then, after this minister got his drawings on the church, suddenly popularity picked up. See this sentence here, successful people don't do great things. They only do small things in a great way. He just drew a little Mickey Mouse. It's not a great thing, but then he stuck to his dream and he proved to people that what he has in him is very valuable. Before I give his name, let me tell you, this man, when he was four years old, he was partially deaf and when he went to school, his class teacher sent him back home with a note in his pocket. And you know what that note read? Your son is dumb. We cannot teach him in our school. Teach him yourself. And when his mother read it, you know what she told her son? She says, oh, Tommy, your school teacher says you're such a genius that their school is not enough for them. He wants me to teach you at home. This man grew up to be the famous Thomas Alva Edison, who discovered the light bulb. If his mother had set him back saying, oh, Tommy, you are dull, people don't want to keep you in school, he wouldn't have been what he was later on in life. Yes, so failure is what you create for yourself. Success too is what you do for yourself. It doesn't come automatically. So Thomas Alva Edison had only three months of formal schooling. Rest of all, his mother took it up. Henry Ford, the pioneer of automobile industry. Do you know the first car he made, he forgot to put the reverse gear in it. So mistakes happen. Forgive yourself and go forward. So do you consider all these people failures just because they failed thousand times before this tasted success? No, we see these great personalities and think, wow, maybe he's a genius, maybe he's lucky, maybe he was in the right time, right place. No, always learn how they failed before they succeeded. In 1914, Thomas Alva Edison, he was 67 years old. His factory got burnt down in a fire accident. And look at his positive attitude. Even though his whole life's hard work 
went up in flames, you know what he said? Oh, good. All my mistakes are gone now. I sat afresh, and this time I'll do it perfectly correct. That's the positive attitude we all must have. Some more examples. Thomas Edison failed approximately 10,000 times before he hit on the light bulb. Henry Ford, the pioneer of automobile industry, he was broke, didn't have a penny at the age of 40. Lee Iacocca, this man is the person who developed your favorite Mustang model of the cars. He was fired at the age of 54. Young Beethoven, famous pianist and composer, he was told that you have no talent for music. But then, and also, he was almost deaf when he created few of his masterpieces. Imagine if he listened to them and gave up his music. Socrates, he is an ancient philosopher. There is a very interesting story about him. A boy went up to him and said, Mr. Socrates, please tell me the secret to success. And Socrates said, OK, come along with me. And he took that boy into a river neck deep. And then what did he do? He pushed him under water and kept him there. That boy was struggling for breath. He was trying to break free. And after a while, Socrates pulls him out. And the boy was panting for breath. So Socrates asked him one question. When your head was submerged in water, what is it did you want the most? The boy said, air, of course. Then Socrates said, that is how much you should long for success, as if your life depended on it. Only then will you achieve success. So that is a famous secret to success. Setbacks are inevitable in life. You will fa find failure sometimes. But a setback should be a driving force. It should make you feel, OK, I will try again. They also teach us humility. Suppose you're always succeeding, always coming out successful. You tend to get proud. Oh, I can never fail. But one little failure will ground you back on earth again. In grief, you will find courage and faith. When you fail and rise out, how much courage it will fill you with? It will make you feel, wow, I did it, even though I failed the first time. So we need to learn to become victors and not victims. Yes? A burning desire is the starting point of all accomplishment. If you don't have the desire, you will be just drifting away. You will not have direction. Just like a small fire cannot give much heat, a weak desire cannot produce great results. This is a poem written by the author of this entire article, Mr. Shivakera. Let's have a read at it. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win but think you can't, it's almost a cinch you won't. You think you lose, you're lost. For out in the world we find, success begins with the fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. I want you to continue and read this poem and think about all the points we went through in this chapter. A little bit about the author, Mr. Shivakera. He's an Indian author who writes self-help books. You read his books, he'll tell you how to mold yourself and your personality. While working in the US, he was inspired by other people and he started his motivational teachings. So in our next video, we will look into the question answers of this chapter. I hope you understood that failure is a part of success only if you have tried your best. See you soon.